Hi, George here. And I'll be showing you how to easily remove a white background from a picture using Affinity Photo 2. And we can do that with this great tool up here. Select and come down to Select Subject. Click on that one. It's going to go through, find your subject, and give us a selection based upon that subject. This is easy because, of course, the background is all one solid color. So we'll let this thing finish up. Now, Affinity Photo takes a moment or two to do this. It analyzes the whole picture and then gives you a good selection based upon that analysis. There we are. And let's just go ahead and look around. You see maybe a few little things is a little bit off right up here, a little bit off right down there, a little bit off right over here and down there. Those are okay. A little off on the bottom. So a few things come in here and fix, but not that much. Now, whenever I do any fixes like this on an image, I like to be working on a copy of the image. So let's go over here where it says background, right click and let's duplicate. Hide the original, and we'll do all of our work here on the background layer. In case things get messed up, we can always go back down to the original. The first thing I want to do is come in and get some of the major fixes in here. So let's go over here. And this is going to the selection brush tool. I have this set at 64 pixels. I have snapped edges unselected. And let's start off with the add right there. And I'll come down. I'm just going to add in this little bit right in here like that. That fixes that. And then right down here across the bottom, just catch those little bits right in there, just a little bit off on that bottom section. We'll fix that. There we go. Looks good. Let's now switch over here to the Refine tool. Click on that. Brings up our Refine tool. There it is. You can see there's the brush size. And with this, just brush over anything which has some of the background still showing that you don't want, like that. Now, the first time you do this, the first brush stroke, it's going to be taking longer because Affinity Photo goes in and analyzes everything. And then the rest of your brush strokes go very quickly like that. So first time takes a little bit longer. The rest of them go very quickly. And let's just go through and clean up some of the edges in here. Just like that. I like cleaning up a spot at a time and then let Affinity Photo come back and adjust that. Now, whenever you're doing this, it's going to be giving you a little bit of a softer edge. So right up in here, it may or may not improve that edge. But actually, that looks okay. We have two spots right down in here need to get rid of. So let's come down. Let's set the output at selection. Choose apply. And then I'll use the scroll wheel on the mouse and just zoom in here. See if we can get these two things cleaned out. It's a very minor detail. It might be easier just to paste in some hair over this and just hide those two spots. And for that, we'll go even easier. I'll just grab the clone stamp tool here. Let's bring the brush size down, left square bracket. And I'll go over here and grab some hair from right here. Alt and click. And I'll just put that right over the top. And we'll come in and just kind of adjust things a bit here so it's not an exact match anywhere. And the edge of this clone snap tool is a little bit hard right down here. So let's go up here and set our hardness down to zero. And then grab some of this and just come in here. That just softens that edge up a little bit. And if you see anything really duplicating, just hide the duplication. And that's all you have to do. That now fixes that little area. Everything else looks really nice. And that's basically it. I'll use the control zero to fit screen here. Let's just double check our edge. Now you may see some edges that look like they're a little bit off. It's just that Affinity Photo can't really show this little marching ants thing on every little spot. So it doesn't. Let's now go to our layer, come down, click on this button. This is the mask layer. Choose that. And there we go. The background's now been removed. To stop those marching ants, use control D. And there it is, background cleaned up. It's that easy to do here. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about how to use Affinity Photo, I have a complete training course for this program. And I'll put a link for that right at the top of the description. That covers all the tools, all the menus, all the panels, everything. It's all there. It's also a single price for lifetime access. It isn't a subscription. So take a look at that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. I'm doing new videos all the time. And I'll see you next time.